Hello, how are you, signers? I'm happy to have you today. I'm Teacher Cesar, your Citer. I'm excited to learn with you about the effects of the sun on living things. We will identify the beneficial and harmful effects of the sun. Smile and everything will be all right. Let's get started. Let's recite the poem about the reasons why we should be thankful for the sun. Be grateful for the sun by Cesar S. Martin. I'm grateful for the golden sun that shines down on us on every daughter and son. Its heat makes our clothes dry each day and allows us time to go out and play. I'm grateful for the golden sun that gives farmers and fishermen full of fun. Its heat makes their crops dry, so their children will never ever cry. I'm grateful for the golden sun that makes children, dogs and cats play, jump and run, and gives light to every tree and plant, so they can make their own food which they want. This time, let's answer this question about the poem, Why do we have to be grateful for the sun? A possible answer for this is, We have to be grateful for the sun because it gives us warmth and light for us to survive here on earth. Can you imagine a world without the sun? Without seeing anything. It would be very sad for sure. Let's take a look at these beneficial effects of the sun's heat and light on living things. First, plants can make their own food through photosynthesis. Plants need sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to prepare their own food. Second, during sunny days, we can do recreational activities such as swimming in the Nagay River, boating and picnicking at Burnham Park, Baguio City, and traveling or going to Northern Blossom at Sayangan Atok Benguet. And of course, remember the Cligo or Clean As You Go policy. When going to a picnic, we ensure that the premises are clean, hygienic, and clutter-free. Third, on hot warm days, Farmers dry their crops and fishermen can dry their catch to preserve them. One beneficial effect of the sun is it helps some skin conditions like psoriasis. When we say psoriasis, it's when the skin sheds its cells. It has scaly patches and it's itchy. Psoriasis is not contagious. You can't catch or spread it from another person. So, if you have a friend who has psoriasis, you may play with him or her. Don't laugh at him or her, okay? According to research, Sunlight improves our mood because it stimulates our pineal gland in our brain, which exudes chemical called tryptamines. Sun is also best source of vitamin D. This vitamin is made from cholesterol in our skin when it is exposed to the sun. 
Another good effect of the sun is it is useful for disinfection and sterilization. Our parents expose our beddings, clothes, and towels under the sun to reduce microorganisms because sunlight helps in deactivating viruses and bacteria. Let's get going. Let's take a look at the harmful effects of the sun. Too much exposure to sunlight can cause heat stroke and sunburn. Sunburn happens when your skin cells are damaged. Your skin becomes reddish and it's really itchy when burnt. It can also cause visual impairment, so we should not look at the sun directly. Plants may wilt and die because of intense heat and light of the sun, so we have to take good care of them. Moreover, just like us, working animals will get sick if they're exposed from too much sun's heat and light. Of course, intense sun's heat can cause loss of water from the bodies. The sun's heat and warm air make us perspire a lot. Too much perspiration can make us lose much water, so we should drink enough water to avoid dehydration and stomach cramps. Remember this too. If there's too much sun's heat and light, soil will be hard and cracked. As a further matter, we can protect ourselves from intense heat and light of the sun by practicing safety precautionary measures. First, take a bath regularly. Why do we need to take a bath during hot sunny days? Possible answer for this is it will help freshen our skin. Another way on how to protect oneself from intense sun, heat, and light is to eat fruits. Why? Why do we need to eat fruits like watermelons, oranges, citrus, and the like during hot sunny days? Here's a possible answer. This is to help replenish lost water in the body. We also apply sunblock lotion or sunscreen. But why? Why do we need to apply sunblock lotions during hot sunny days? Mm. It protects our skin from UV rays. Sunscreen blocks greatly reduce the likelihood of sunburn. Look for products with an SPF or sun protection factor of at least 15 and of course, some doctors recommend nothing below 30. It also lowers skin cancer risk. We should also remember to use protective gears. Wear clothes that cover as much skin as possible to protect against permanent skin damage. Use long sleeves pants and skirts in a light weight, loose fitting fabric to provide protection for the sun. Wear a well-vented or wide-brimmed hat to protect your face, head, neck, and ears from the sun. Sand glosses should be worn too. We should also remember to drink lots of water. 
Why? Why do we need to drink lots of water during hot sunny days? This is to prevent dehydration and heat stroke. It will also replenish lost energy from the hot weather conditions. Like when you eat fruits or diuretic fruits like what we presented a while back. We have already learned about the effects of the sun. For your activity, say oh yeah if the statement is a beneficial effect of the sun's heat and light and oh no if it is a harmful effect. You shall be given 5 seconds to give your answer. Let's get started. First, sun's heat is useful for disinfection and sterilization. If you answered, oh yeah, you are correct. Sun's heat and light can cause skin cancer, sunburn, and heat stroke. If your answer is oh no, then you are correct. Third, plants make their own food. The correct answer is oh yeah. Great job, signers. Let's get going! Let's answer this question. If you and your parent work in the garden, how should you protect yourselves from the intense sun's heat and light? For the possible answers, you can use protective gears. What else? You can also drink lots of water. Great job! So, what are the effects of the sun? Effects of the sun could be beneficial or harmful. So, beneficial effects of the sun are Plants make their own food Families do recreational activities it is useful for disinfection and sterilization. Farmers dry their crops. It helps moods. And it helps some skin conditions like psoriasis. For the harmful effects of the sun, it can cause sunburn and heat stroke. Plants may wilt and die. It can cause visual impairment. It can make the soil very dry, hard, and cracked. Working animals will get sick. And it can cause loss of water from the bodies. So, for your assessment, say B if the statement is a beneficial effect of the sun's heat and light. And H if it is a harmful effect. You shall be given 5 seconds to give your answer. Let's get started! Number 1. Plants may wilt and die because of the sun. If your answer is H, you are correct. It's a harmful effect. Number 2. Ultraviolet rays help some skin conditions like psoriasis. If your answer is B, you are correct. Number 3. Sun can cause loss of water from the bodies.
If you answered H, you are correct. Great job! Thank you, dear signers, for listening and participating. See you again in our next episodes. I am Teacher Cesar, your Sitcher, saying it's fabulous to learn the wonders of science.